Hey guys, welcome to Tipu Capital. Our channel is Real World Trading Investing and Entrepreneurship channel. Today, I'm gonna share with you a trade I took on Friday's ES Mini 3 minute chart. So, before we take a trade, we need to analyze the pre market activity. Uh, we start with a down uh, channel and then we start with a gap down, and it's kind of a climactic here. Climatic, so uh, we all know that it will start a trading range. So during the Asian session, there is nothing much to do here. We see uh, price uh, laborious move, uh, grinding down, moving to the downside, and then we start here with a European session. Volume start to coming in, but nothing to do here price plotting with this level so we can uh, actually we can remove this uh, level here so our th methodology heavily rely on structure but it's very difficult to drawing structure in this uh, context you can see uh, yeah we can see uh, support here but nothing to train here so uh, because the context is the downtrend, so we would look for a short trade. Actually, it's very difficult to trade here because uh, price uh, poorly interact with the structure. Price are uh, going down at some point, and then it start to demand start to coming in. So it's kind of a mini chain of behavior. And then we would wait for it to come back down here with a with a poor reaction, so we can enter a long trade here. But I wasn't around my trading desk, so this kind of uh, opportunity for us to uh, trade to the upside. But that is not my trade. My trade is somewhere here. So this line is kind of our level of support. But we see it try to spring here. But on the next bar, it breaks with reverse volume. It means institution uh, want to commit to the downside. And before it we see the reaction with increasing volume which is bearish so on this bar we will looking for a momentum to the downside and then it rally back up to this uh, we were looking for something like this and then it go test to this support yeah, and then yeah we can short here but actually it doesn't pan out because on the next bar price start try to stop here my thought at this bar right here is a it didn't follow my plan so I have to have a different trading plan so on my mind right here I would try to sell stop this level of support on this bar if it is demands it should go back up to this trading range but if it is supply so probably continue to go down so plan is to sell stop a few stick below this bar and if it is decline so it just pull me into the trade after reviewing my trade uh, we can entry on this bar and stop out a few tick above the support but that was not my trade on this uh, breakout bar it pulled me in I'm trying to hold so when I see this bar uh, don't let it scare you out because let's see what this bar achieve so I try to uh, hold through this bar and then on the next bar it continue to the downside but on this bar I see the volume is the highest on the whole chart so it is so uh, climatic why because uh, there are also um, hidden buying inside so volume is much higher but the spread is only a few tick to the outside so on the next bar which is this bar so it means uh, supply start to uh, dry up so I cover on this bar uh, let me show you uh, my position yeah so this is my real account right and then I entry on this bar and then I cover on this bar why I cover this because um, supply is dry up and also we near the um, US open so I don't trade near the open if I hold uh, there much more uh, profit to be made but uh, it is trading we have to stick to our trading plan so uh, that's it for me. If you have any question, uh, feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching.